Hey guys, it's Puff Guy here. We just, now today we have the uh, RCS M3 Grease Gun, which is just an amazing gun, World War II replica, with amazing internals, and uh, we'll be doing an accuracy test and a review today. So, so. so now we'll be talking about the internals and the uh, cool features of this gun. Uh, the internals are ICS custom made, so they're supposedly supposed to be really good, that's what I heard. I already used them once already, so I know they worked really good. Did not disappoint me whatsoever at all. It was really great. It was accurate. The rate per fire was amazing. Alright, so some cool features on this gun that came with it is the uh, retractable stock, which you push this button in here, then you can just pull it out. You hear a little click, then you have a nice little kind of like short barreled rifle, and you can just put it back in. Also, we have the iron sights here, which is basically just kind of like a hole, and then a little like pick thing. We also have the uh, spring detention right here. You flip this up, you pull this back. Uh, hop up is right here, the hop up wheel. And uh, as you can see, it's a metal gearbox. And then you can just like pop this, push that in, and it goes forward. You also have two metal sling mounts right here. Uh, also, another cool feature that makes this gun look really nice are all these like little bolts and stuff. Make it look like kind of rust, like rustic, I guess. And um, this also features a 430 round uh, high cap magazine, and you can just push this button in and it comes out like that. And I uh, flip this open, you have all those BBs in there, and you can just wind it up at the bottom. So the construction, we have a plastic, small, not very bright orange tip, which I like a lot because it's not like too noticeable in the middle of battle. You have uh, a metal outer barrel, then you also have this thing, which I'm not really sure what it is, but it's metal. This, the entire upper receiver, all metal, every single part of it, even the sights, and this. Uh, you also have part of the lower receiver here is uh, polymer, but then th they have like this little metal casing over it, which is metal, and uh, also a plastic trigger and uh, handle. That's it. So, um, just so you guys know, this magazine is not compatible with Thompson or MP40 magazines. That is very important. That's what I thought at first. Uh, thank God I didn't buy any because that would have been a waste of money. Uh, it only accepts M3 magazines, and uh, the ICS mags that are out right now are only 430 high cap magazines. I got this gun off evic.com for $180, and uh, the battery is $30, which is an ICS custom type 9.6 volt. For So together, it's $210. Uh, the battery space in this gun is very limited, like you kind of just twist this off, and as you can see I can barely fit the battery in there. Uh, n there's no way you can fit a MOSFET or anything unless you don't mind the wires hanging out, which I do very much. Alright, so now we'll move on to the shooting test of this review. Um, I am the target now, I guess. I'm being held against my will, they are trying to shoot me. Please help. Um, with every penny you can make a change. Okay, so uh, we got the masked man shooting the M3 grease gun from uh, 50 feet. Keep in mind, we are using uh, .23 gram, and uh, turn around and let's go. Wait, let him put his uh, glasses oh, on. Oh, I hate this. Turn around. Don't hurt me. I'm gonna shoot you. Oh yeah, he's gonna shoot in a uh, short little burst. Back, you little poop. I swear to God. Go, come on. Nick, turn around. I'm gonna shoot. Oh! I'm good! Let's go! As you heard, uh, the short little burst, every single BB yeah. hit him. So far, every BB yeah. has hit the target. That's good! I like it! <laughs> okay, 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 okay. That concludes our accuracy, accuracy test from about 50 yeah, feet. Yeah, that felt good! <laughs> as, you, Ow. as you can tell, all the BBs have hit the target. Now, this is uh, hey. 75 feet shooting the grease gun. And, um, let's see how this works. Okay, ready. Okay, so as you can tell, many BBs hit. I think uh, three missed. What would you say? Two. Two missed? Two or three. That sounds good. Uh, 75 feet, point twenty three gram. All right, so now we're at uh, 100 feet. Oh! Oh, my hand. Oh, my hand. Oh, you hit my... You got... Yeah, we're good. Okay, so uh, he shot a bunch of sprays. Every single spray, at least a couple BBs hit. 
Okay, so now we're at the 150 foot spray. As you can tell, it's really far away. This gun is meant for a uh, CQB, uh, CQB field. So, uh, let's see how this works. Nope. Ready? No. Alright. Okay, okay, we're good. We're good. Yeah, eh? Once in the head. Yeah. Okay, as you can tell, this gun has a uh, pretty, pretty shoot decent me, range. Try to shoot me up from over there. I'll hit fire. Ready? Look, guys, hit fire. Alright, this gun has a uh, decent range, uh, but a very good spread. So, as you can tell, this is actually a uh, pretty good uh, CQB to midfield range gun, and uh, pretty accurate. Uh, it has a, like, a fair spray, so it's good, and uh, you're really... So overall, this is a great World War II replica. It's awesome to play with. It, in general, it's just so amazing. It has a little bit of a spray, which is really, really good. It's also 340 FPS, $180 on EVIC. Uh, only full auto, I didn't mention that before. And uh, has a spring detentioner here, which is really cool. Uh, also, look forward to other ICS guns, which we honestly think is really great, and they seem to be doing really good and are rising up in power over others. So, thanks for watching, and buy this gun. It is worth every single dollar. Thanks. No. Nope. Hey, it's rolling. Is it rolling? Oh, it's going. It's going. Let's it go. Rolling. Let's go. Get in, in, in. Card go. Thing, so. That's the thing. You okay, go. Okay, you're wasting it, too. All right. So, oh, college.